All right, so look, I was really excited about the light painting um, segment today in the show, and I have a couple more tips for you that you can take. First of all, if you're going to do uh, landscape light painting, you want to get the big light, and you, especially if you live in a rural area, it's so important because there's less light contamination around. If you're in a big city, you have to be careful. You want to do it definitely when there's not a full moon. Uh, you want to make sure that you've got a clean sky, there's not fog or anything like that coming in because you want to have twilight. But what's important is there's a really cool app you can get. It's $5.99. It's called Golden Hour. It's called Sun Seeker. And it will tell you, it identifies your location, and it'll tell you when the golden hour is. It'll tell you when sunset is. It'll tell you nautical twilight is when you want to go out and shoot. And it'll tell you when your astronomical twilight is. And basically that is when it's too dark to shoot. So you only have a window of time when you go out to have a lot of light that's in the sky that your eye don't see, but your camera will. Uh, also, uh, another tip for you if you're out shooting and you want to try the light painting stuff, um, try different light sources that you have. The glow sticks that we talked about is wonderful. You can use Christmas lights. There's a variety of things that you can use. Uh, another tip that you, if you're out shooting and you go, where do I start with my numbers on my camera? I know nothing about it. A real simple thing is make sure you're in manual. A starting point for you, depending upon how bright your light source may be, would be an F16 at 30 seconds. Once you start moving back from F16 and you go to maybe an F9 or something like that, your shutter speed is going to want to slow down. You're going to want to go to like maybe 15 uh, uh, seconds or an 8 second. Um, so if you want more time to paint with your light, up to 30 seconds, if your camera allows you to go that high, you can make it a, a smaller aperture or a bigger number, which is like an F16 or an F14 or a, depending on your lens, an F22. Have fun with it. Be creative. Think outside of the box. Remember, with light painting, the idea is, is you're erasing the black and you're filling with light. Hope it works. I'd love to see some of your pictures. Send them to us.